Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial. Well, 30 seconds or so because today we're going to talk about the slice tool and there's a lot you can do with the slice tool. So it might be a little bit longer than that. The slice tool It's located here beneath the crop tool slice tool and the premise behind it is you draw out a selection with the slice tool and boom, this is now an image that can be exported from the main image. So you would use the slice tool in theory when you design like a web app or a mobile app or a website, something like that. And you have a bunch of different graphics that all need to be put together using something else in the case of a web or an application or something like that. You're using various kinds of code, right? So you want these images broken down. Now, we can argue about whether or not CSS can recreate a lot of what we've got going on, but let's not get into that. Let's deal with the slice tool in the abstract. So you draw out a slice. When you draw out a slice, you've created what's called a user slice. You also have all these slices that appear around it that are images that Adobe needs to create uh, because every image needs to be square or rectangle or some form of that. So you have automatically generated slices and you also have a third kind of slice, by the way, which is located here under the layer panel or the layer menu, excuse me, a layer based slice. Now that's important because let's say you have your logo up on its own layer, maybe some social media icon, something like that instead of having to like gently and carefully crafting a slice exactly around them you can just select the layer and go layer layer based slice boom you got your layer based slice now now that we've done that let's um let's just select and work with our slice here i can just click and drag the slice wherever i want and it's going to sort of reposition it and readjust all the automatic slices around it i can also right click on the slice and choose to divide the slice and i can divide the slice up you can see this here a divide horizontally or vertically so i don't need to do 10 by 10 maybe let's do like 4 uh, by three, something like that. You can see Photoshop's automatically divvying it up. Maybe I know I need a, like a, an exact number of pixels. Maybe it's like 150. All right, 150 is not very much. Let's go 350, something like that. Now that's actually five slices tall. We can hit OK. So we've got a bunch of slices divvied up in here. We've got our auto uh, created slices as well. Now, in order to export these as separate images, we need to go File, Export, Save for Web. Now here in the Save for Web dialog box, and I'm going to uh, zoom this out here. I don't quite want it to be full screen for us. Let's just make that a little smaller. There we go. And now I'm going to zoom back the image. You can see I have the user created slices that are selected. I can select here. I've got the slice selection tool here in this uh, Save for Web dialog box. I can select any of these slices around those slices, or I can select those slices. Now here's the issue. Well, let's say I select this slice. How do I select them all? Well, I can hold down the shift key and select multiple slices, but that's going to take a while. So let's just do this. Let's just drag out a selection over our slices. But now obviously we've selected all the slices around around that. Hold down the shift key and simply select those slices one by one to deselect them, therefore preserving only our slices in the middle, at which point we can just go ahead and save. And now here also, this is a little bit uh, of magic in here, is we can choose to save all slices, all user slices, that means all non-automatically created slices, or just the selected slices. Remember, we just specifically selected just these slices here in the middle. So let's save this here to the desktop. Uh, I'm going to hit save. And boom, Photoshop is going to export all of that stuff to my desktop. So that's it. The slice tool in Photoshop. A bit longer than 30 seconds, I know. But it's the slice tool. You got to spend some time on it, right? I mean, not really. I don't really use the tool that much. Um, but it's kind of a cool tool and what it can do to dice up images and cut them up pretty quickly. It's up to you to find a way to use it uh, well or see if it fits into your current workflow. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutfid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.